Hello, welcome to another Gun About Operation 2 video. That is the Goof, and uh, I got a match here for you by myself at 350 on City Ruins. And uh, you may be asking, hey, uh, Aqua or Dongo, Dango, Bingo, Bingo Bongo, whatever you want to call me, uh, <laughs> why, why you say keep on saying you don't you don't like to play raids? So why are you playing the Goof? The Goof doesn't have a dodge roll and has some very awkward things about it. Well. It's because I watched the Romba Rawl episodes of Gundam, and that's literally it. Uh, the Romba Rawl is a—he's a, a big fucking badass in uh, Gundam. Nice and honorable dude. Uh, I really liked his episodes, and I was like, hey, you know what? I kind of like the goof. I like his design. I like the way it works. I want to use it, and I—that's that, just what I did at 350. So that'd be the level three suit, and I believe since it's a one star, I just went ahead and I gave it all the enhancements and. Uh, since, you know, I have like one million one-star tickets lying around, decided to uh, enhance it all the way. And I have like, what, 47 melee strength or 42? Enough to where I can do a heavy attack to uh, to a support with my downswing on my heat rod. So uh, it works perfectly well. And uh, you'll see that here this match. And I got to thank number two this match, the one in the e free Deceptive Tadpole, because... Uh, wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't do as good as I was this match because uh, he had a lot of moments where he set up for me and then I utterly just fucking shit on the enemy that, uh, mostly the support that uh, that he swung at. And usually that's how I play, uh, I like to play a little bit more passive and with my team when I'm, yeah, you know, normally, but when I'm, it's even more apparent when I'm with the raid, uh, or I am the raid. I usually wait for my, my teammate to help out. Which, uh, usually you want to initiate first with the raid, uh, but for the goof, I didn't want to take any chances because I don't have a dodge roll, and uh, I have to be careful how I use my heat rod because the heat rod, if you guys don't know, has a lot of lag time on its uh, moveset, which is something I kind of wish they buffed about the suit. This suit got buffed a while ago, and actually, I had a video on it, and it helped out a lot for the suit, but uh, I feel like they could have done just a little tiny boost and it's uh, the way it works with the heat rod where the down if you do a downswing it has a lot of lag time on it and usually by the time you can get out of that downswing you can't even follow up with the neutral swing for your heat sword I wish there was enough time for you to at least boost out of it and get one swing off that way you can add a little bit more combo damage to somebody or uh, with your side swing the side swing is really useful you see a lot of goof players use it because you can catch people from a, a wide distance uh, you can go around the corner, whap somebody real fast, get a stun, and try to aggress with a heat sword. But again, it's not instant, and that can be a problem for a lot of people trying to play this suit. Uh, it's definitely not a beginner suit, uh, the goof, but it, it can, I think it can be just a little bit better, honestly. But, uh, you know, we're trying it out, and we're doing pretty well. Again, <laughs> my teammate is setting up for me like pretty much all the time. And uh, that's just how I'm working. I'm playing more of a support raid than a uh, than an actual raid. And usually the the raid the, the the goofs I see in matches, they usually wait for you to fuck up or for a teammate to downswing you before they go in for a uh, for a melee. Uh, unless it's you know your support, then they always go for the downswing on the heat rod. Uh, so <laughs> so it, it could be different from other people. There's probably somebody out there who every time they fight goofs, the goofs are always up their ass, ready to tangle. But not for me. Most of the goofs here, they all they always uh, like to take advantage of the situation. They don't create the situation, you know. And hey, one last kill before we die on the enemy goof. And I believe earlier we whapped each other <laughs> with with uh, with each other's downswing on the heat rod, which is pretty hilarious. Also, I forgot to mention that in that one of the Ron Baral episodes, I believe it was the last time he fought Amro in his goof against, you know, uh, Amro's Gundam. Uh, his, his heat sword worked like a beam saber, and apparently this was retconned into where uh, the heat sword was made out of a special polymer that, uh, that hides inside of the handle, and then it comes out. It, it, it has a memory kind of foam to it where it comes out the shape of the blade. Oh man, I also downswung my teammate. That's the one time I'm going to downswing my teammate this match, which I'm kind of proud of doing. I'm not proud of doing the, you know, the one time I hit him, especially since it's the guy likes to set up, who likes to set up for me, which is unfortunate. But uh, you know what's better to, to downswing one teammate than downswing five? I, I tried to learn my spacing this match a lot, so hopefully we'll see the results of that this match. And hey, like to uh, use my shield, you know. <laughs> 
didn't want to take any more damage from the enemy goo because I know he can get some pretty good damage out too. And here comes the uh, Efreet to uh, get the stuns for me. Well, I tried to initiate here and I missed. But don't worry, we'll get our uh, heavy attack here soon. <laughs> I say heavy attack. This man uh, had more than half his health. A little bit more than half his health and then it's just gone. It's just vaporized. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Eh. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, it had like a memory foam on the sword that it took the shape of the blade. I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty neat. <laughs> we all know that it was meant to be a beam sword, but they had to change it later on. Uh, I'm pretty sure something like that happens with the Shars Gelgu, where it's like a physical blade, and then it turns into a beam Naginata. It's weird. But, uh, you know, that's just how older shows are. Uh, they make mistakes like that, or, uh, you know, there's a lot of, lot of breaks in canon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, the goof is a, is a pretty pretty nice suit. It, it definitely has the damage for it. I just wish there was a little bit more uh, things you can do with it. I also wish the heat rod neutral attack, which is very it's pretty much the same thing as the goof customs, the uh, the goof VDs, pretty much anything that has a sea serpent like attack. I wish it could heavy stagger. The goof doesn't heavy stagger. It doesn't normal stun. Which why? <laughs> Probably back then it was more balanced, but uh, nowadays you don't see any goof. Again, at least for me, I don't see any goof doing a neutral swing at all with the uh, the heat rod. So <laughs> they always go for that downswing or the side swing when they're rushing somebody. Speaking of uh, the downswing, we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna use advantage of the uh, the height of the downswing here. I knew I was gonna get up just in time, so I managed to throw out a panic downswing. <laughs> <laughs> managed to hit the uh, the tank the gun tank too I should say and hey he tackled nice and the high gog just stunned himself so even beautiful actually no I think he might have shot the high gog so even even better <laughs> we're gonna walk out of this just fine I say just fine we're nearly dead and this last minute I'm gonna have to play very very careful because I believe we're going to win or we're going to start winning by one kill and two of us on our team are about to die I think as soon as we get the kill on, I believe, yeah, the goof here. Miss our downswing terribly. I believe when we get our kill, we're going to spend uh, the rest of the match chilling in the back because, uh, yeah, I have 900 health. And I don't want to be the winning kill for the enemy team. And I hope number one doesn't want to as well. I believe near the end, he almost gets his ass fucking killed. So I say, after we kill this man, I'm going to say fall back. And I think for the most part, everybody... No, no, number four decided he want to keep fighting. Uh, all the people that do have health want to keep fighting, which I guess is fine. That means they can distract the enemy team. Enemy team won't notice that, uh, hey, wait a minute. There's two dudes with magic pixels for health. <laughs> well, actually, I think one of them noticed number one. That's why he nearly died at the end. He has, like, just a tad bit of health. And then, like, the last ten seconds, he pretty much has the magic pixel. And <laughs> As you can see, I, I, I have no other options. I have to sit here. I'm a very close range suit, and if I get closer, I'm, I'm just going to fucking die. Hey, his man left his suit. I guess he wanted that extra invulnerability. Nice. And, hey, time out. Good works all around, and we'll see what we got going on here with the goof. And, yeah, mission completed, and let's see. Hey, top individual and top damage. I was not expecting the top individual. I was expecting some kind of damage because, uh, again, Heat Rod does nasty damage on supports. But, uh, hey, we did pretty good. Hey, third place, six and three. So, yeah, we helped finish off some uh, some enemies and uh, got some damage off, too. So, yeah, that is the goof. And that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And, you know, type up in the, uh, the comment section how you feel about the goof. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, I actually really do like the design of the goof. I think it's uh, it's, it's pretty rad looking <laughs> with the, uh, the spikes and the, the kind of... I don't know what would you call it, the snorkel mask, but it's very similar. It, it looks a little bit different than the regular Zaku 2's kind of mask design, uh, but that's just me. It, it looks pretty cool. I like it a lot. And in this game, I wish there's a few things that were different about it in this game. Uh, again, I wish you can come out of the, the heat rod swings a lot faster. I think that would actually kind of help out the goof a lot more, uh, especially when it gets to the higher cost, like 400. I, I think at 400, it just needs a dodge roll straight up. Uh, you know, it's a suit designed for MS ground combat, and it doesn't really <laughs> do that at 400. <laughs>
<laughs> it kind of sucks at it unless you have a really good player who's uh who who can just predict everything the enemy team is doing which hey you know there's probably some actual new types out there playing <laughs> but uh yeah and i do recommend you guys watch the uh Rumble Raw episodes of the original series they're pretty good uh you know it, it doesn't look good because it's an old show but you know Rumble Raw is a pretty great character and uh, he had a wife named Haman and no it's not the uh the Haman from Zeta Gundam actually I'm, I'm trying to think is it pronounced a different way her name's Crowley Haman so there we go <laughs> but uh yeah that'll be it and I will see you guys later bye